How you feel? Um, I'm, ner I'm nervous. It's gonna be the most competitive you've ever been. Yeah. Better lines through your legs. You can see glute fullness improving, midsection filled out quite a bit, and then the, that transition shot is crazy. Looks like you added like an inch to your glute in the transition. Good. You're probably hungry now. <laughs> if I could snap all day long, I would. She is lean, lean. Um, this is our second show of the season. So we had her, her regional show was maybe eight or 10 weeks ago. And we were happy with the feedback that we got there. Sandy was the head judge at that show, which was a big reason why we went, went ahead and did that one. So we had good feedback there. And then we were able to peel off another maybe six pounds from the first show. And uh, she's carrying really good muscle density. We've been able to fill her out really nicely. One of the things that we noticed from the first show is that she just burned through food quite a bit. So we added quite a bit of fats on the front end of the week, brought carbs down and used a lot of our calories to have the fats in place. And the reason for that is for the carbs to be more sticky in the, the muscle belly. Oftentimes at the end of a prep, you're having 30, 40 grams of fat. And so then when you do bring carbs back in, they're just used as energy very quickly. And so the fullness is very fleeting. And by improving or increasing those intramuscular uh, fats, you're able to have just a more sticky effect and maintain fullness longer. And so that's the one thing that we're noticing with Allie this go around is by increasing those fats, she's having much better fullness and it's being much more sustained because at the previous show, we were having to feed every hour and a half to two hours with quite a bit of carbs to just try and sustain some fullness. And she would run flat pretty quickly. Whereas now she hasn't worked out today, but if we'll put it on the screen now, we've got a photo here of when she came over and posed fat and then when she just posed now two meals down, only 55 grams of carbs split between those two meals. And you can see the difference in overall fullness. So we're on the right path. I'm really excited. I'm very confident for what she's gonna bring tomorrow. And uh, now we head and see how Erica's looking. Delts filled out so much more, midsection just lost a little bit of fluid, filled out, and then legs just, lines kept getting a little bit deeper. So maybe we'll do come back and have you eat after your tan, finish off the food, and then probably do check-ins again, 90 minutes post that last meal. I'd, I'd rather you have more fats now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm very happy with where we're at. After taking a look at Erica, she looks phenomenal as well. We've made really great strides. She just competed at Junior USA's, which was just a couple of weeks ago in Charleston. And we ran into something um, with her last peak where she faded a little bit going into uh, the show. And what had happened was she was having some issues with her digestion. And so one of the focal points that we've had over this week was maximizing digestion, making sure everything was 100%. And she's had much better digestion throughout this peak week and it has shown within her physique as she just continues to fill out. So um, that's been great. She flew in yesterday where Allie uh, drove and so with flights it's one of the more challenging things to have a fluid balance with electrolytes and those different factors and so when Erica woke up this morning she was looking a little bit more flat. It was she was holding a little bit of fluid. There was just water sitting on her subcutaneously. I had to reassure her that we got as we got food in today that was going to settle. That's a common thing with athletes when they are traveling and flying to shows and those different factors and a big reason why if you are flying in you want to fly in at least a couple days ahead if not just you know two days ahead of the show to allow for that water to settle and uh, be in a good spot but I'm really excited for her and she's going to bring such a great physique to the stage tomorrow future Sue here. During editing, we realized we didn't tell you as much about food, so I'm here to fill you in. If you haven't watched episode four of this series, I would go ahead and watch that now because that talks a lot about traveling and making sure that you still stay on track. This was a work trip, so just like if you were going to go to a conference and go on a work trip, this is something that can happen pretty regularly. That's a huge reason that we not only meal prep when we're here at home, but having that meal prep ready so I didn't have to do a ton of work before we went on this trip, I was just able to grab things out of the freezer and be ready to go. If you are traveling for work, you're likely staying at a hotel. And two things I always do is request a mini fridge and a microwave. We have stayed at this hotel before, so I did know that the mini fridges were quite many. And when it came to microwaves, there was a shortage last time we were there, so I was prepared for us to possibly not have a microwave. And I went ahead and brought the hot plate. We do like our meals heated up
up in a pan that is our preference and since we were so out of routine and we just had a completely different schedule a way that we can make ourselves feel better and just enjoy the food that we are eating is to be able to use the hot plate let's talk about the ride down i knew that we were going to be in the car eight to ten hours and in fact we were it was quite a long drive so with that i made sure i got in two full meals before we hit the road i also made sure i got in a good chunk of steps before we got in the car because i knew i wouldn't be moving for multiple hours and same goes for water so whether you are driving or flying i always recommend trying to front load or back load water on those days because i know it can be so tedious to have to stop and pee or getting up on the airplane and i will flex on you a little bit here i did get over a gallon on both travel days and on the way there we only stopped twice to pee so i needed a snack and i went ahead and grabbed a midday square i had my eyes peeled because i was getting hungry yet again and one of my favorite fast food places to stop is going to be chick-fil-a because they have the best grilled chicken and they have a lot more macro friendly options and if you know me you know i do love french fries so i opted to go ahead and get the 12 grilled nuggets because i did need a good chunk of protein and i went ahead and got the small fries it is hard to do portion control in those instances so i always opt for a small fry and ended up eating only about half the fries which actually was such a savior because i didn't have enough fat to eat more fries i had a few carbs left over so i had two rice cakes on the rest of the drive and then i was all set when we got there i had hit my macros i was good to go that made it so easy when we got up in the morning we actually went for a little walk went and picked up coffee and it was a perfect way to have a semi-routine or a non-routine in a situation where i was so out of routine i was able to bring back something that allowed me to still feel a little bit in routine the first full day that we were there we actually ended up just eating all of our prepped foods and it was great and it made things so easy we were bopping around going to see the competitors it was so easy just to know we had everything set to go and we could just heat up the meals and eat them so we ate the pancakes again on saturday and then for lunch we went out when i looked at the menu honestly nothing looked like super exciting i saw that they had a burger and then they also had the option to add grilled chicken to a salad so i asked the waiter if i could just have grilled chicken and fries or if i could have a grilled chicken sandwich and some fries and they were easily able to make that happen your food when you eat out doesn't have to be this exorbitant experience i just needed some nutrients i guesstimated things and i was all set to go and was still able to hit my macros that day if you're wondering how to guesstimate while eating out episode two does have some tips and tricks but stay tuned next week because we're going to go fully in depth on my fitness pal and how we structure things so that we can set ourselves up for success all right that's enough for me let's go back and check with alex and see how the competitors did The show is over. I want to update you guys on how the day went. So Erica was first on stage and she was in first call outs of class E. Allie went on and she was in the center of second call outs of class F. Both of them looked great. This was Erica's best look to date. I was, I was thrilled with what she brought to the stage. She had really great fullness. I think her conditioning was great. I thought that her posing was in a great spot. Allie was able to bring a great physique to the stage. We left her a little flat. And so I undershot on the amount of food that she should have had going into pre-judging. We have not been to a show in some time. One of the most draining parts of bodybuilding competitions, especially national shows, is the hurry up and wait. It's like, you're not doing anything, all of a sudden you gotta be somewhere. But overall, had a great day. Plan moving forward for both of these ladies. Erica will be moving on and competing at Universe. And so that is going to be another national show here in 12 days. So we're gonna make some adjustments. Sandy gave us some great feedback just to tighten up a little bit. And so we'll be doing that. And then Allie and I are going to make a decision tomorrow on, on what the game plan is for her. Last but not least, I am wearing one of the new band tees. Do we know when it's gonna be launched? Not yet. Maybe we'll put it on the screen by the time you guys see this video. But cool on the back, cool on the front. There's gonna be a purple and blue one as well that's also equal. Here, throw it, hurry, for the camera. Boom, boom. 
it's gonna be the best shirt you've ever had. You're gonna put this on, you're gonna go train legs, and all of a sudden your hip thrust is gonna go up by 20 pounds. Your squat's gonna go up by 50 pounds. And you're gonna be like, oh my, it's the shirt. I'm gonna have to wear this every, every time I wear legs, I'm gonna have to wear this shirt. <laughs> every time I train legs. Every time I train legs, I'm gonna wear this shirt and I'm gonna get stronger every time because of this shirt. <laughs> Thank you, shirt. Look at this beautiful place, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me.